All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to talk about a whiteboard animation video here. And uh, the first video we shot wasn't very good, and this one's going to be better. And I'm going to show you some extra things that you didn't know before. First thing is to get your video. Now, Mr. Phone has my video, so I'm going to go find him. Usually the DCIM folder is the place to go. And while it opens up and we observe all the wonderful pictures of my kids, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it is Stanley Cup playoffs tonight, the most important thing of all. But here we go. We have a video clip ready for us here. Let's see, is that the 107 megabytes? Good. First thing is to get your video clip onto your computer. If you run off of a device, there are a number of problems that can happen, so it's always good to have it right on your computer. While that copies over, I'm going to open up Windows Movie Maker. There it is, because I used it recently. If you don't see it there, click open all programs, and then you can find it. It looks like a little film strip. Once that has opened, it's going to ask you to click here for videos and photos. First thing is I want to find my photo, or my video. So I'm going to click on there, and I think I put it on my desktop, so I'm going to look for it there. This came in on April 22nd, that's today, that must be my video. Now oftentimes when students import their videos, the first thing they do is they try to hit play and test it, and it doesn't work, and they go, Mr. E, this is not working. The reason for that is my video is still loading. Right now the program is trying to recognize the video, and it's going to take a little bit of time as you can see down here, it's just progressing slowly. While that's progressing, I'm going to show you a few things. Along the top, you'll find some menu items, similar to menu items you would find in other programs. The main thing that you're going to use today is your edit tabs. You'll notice a few things. One, video volume. I don't want volume on this video. If I had volume on this video, what you're going to hear is everyone who is talking in the room while you were doing your whiteboard drawings. And also, if you were talking at all, you'll hear that. But not only that, when you speed up the video, they're going to sound like chipmunks and it's going to be really funny. So you're going to want to click that and put your volume to zero. You'll see us do that in a minute when my video is ready. Also, speed. You're going to want to change up the speed of your video. When you're doing a whiteboard animation, it takes a long time to do drawings and you don't want to have to have your audience sitting waiting through those drawings and so you're going to be speeding it up to probably four to eight times the speed of the regular video our video is almost ready here we go let's see if it's working looks like it's working all right now the first thing I noticed there wasn't volume there let's make sure our volume is on because we want to test things accurately there we go. So we have volume and Christopher making a really lovely face there. I'm kind of tempted to screen snap it just so I can post it. Now, I want to get rid of all this sound. You can see the sound on the bottom. So I'm going to go over here to video volume under the edit tab. Video volume. Nothing. Let's test it out. Now there's no video hap or no audio happening. That's perfect. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to speed it up. So I'm going to speed it up here one times. You can go two times. You can go four times. So it gets faster as you go. Now here's one thing that's going to happen. You're going to do a series of drawings in your whiteboard animation and some of them you'll draw faster than others. You're going to do a narration uh, overdub. And sometimes you're going to be narrating and you're going to realize that you need longer or shorter periods of time. For example, maybe this section right here, I need it to be shorter so I can say more about that drawing. Well then what you're going to have to do is edit and split it. Here is your split tool. So let's say this section is where I want it to start going a little slower to give me more time to narrate. Maybe when I was recording and I narrated that part, it just didn't give me enough time. I'm going to say split. You'll notice it's now split into two video pieces. So I'm going to take this one, put that four times. Now I'm going to slow this one down. You know, I want it just three times. Maybe I'll just put a three. Uh-oh, that says 32. There we go. 
Now you'll notice it's going to go not quite as fast when it hits this point. So it's still going fast, but not quite as fast. And here's where I want it to start. Here's where I want it to start going faster again. So I'm going to make a split, and I'm going to put that back up to four times. Four times. So now I've got four times, three times, four times. I took my one video and I made it into three clips. So now let's see if it works. It should slow. You know, let's let's do it even more so you can really see the slowdown. So here's our four time. Pretty quick. Slow is down to two time. And now I have more time to narrate and tell you more information. And this is the point where I want it to speed up again, and it does. The final portion, I need to get my narration in there. To do that, I have to record. I'm going to go back to the home, and it says add music, record narration. There we go. If I click this, it will start recording. As I start, oh, I hit record. Now, as the video goes, I can narrate over top. When I finish this recording, it will layer my narration on top of the video. Don't forget, we took the sound off the video so there won't be any overlap. It should be a nice, clean edit at the end. Stop. Now you can name your narration, maybe narration for news item or whatever you want, really. There we go. And here's my narration. Right over top. When I finish this recording, it will layer my narration. So now you can see how that works together. But you know what? It looks like I didn't need this clip to go on for quite as long. Maybe I'll speed that one up. Edit. Eight times. Now it seems to work rather well. On top of the video. Don't forget, we took the sound off the video so there won't be any overlap. It should be a nice, clean edit at the end. It looks like my video is ready to go. Now, of course, yours will be different. You'll have animation where you're actually drawing on the board. But I have my narration. It's timed well. It speeds up, slows down where I want it to. I have my narration over top, and I'm ready to publish. So I'm going to go to, I can publish online, or I can go save movie. You're going to want save movie, and just say recommended for this project. Let the computer do the thinking for you. Let's see, let's see, uh, how to make a white board animation. There we go, and it's saving. It'll take a little while, but when it's done, it'll easily play for you, and you can show it to your parents, other students, or upload it to YouTube. And that's how you can do that kind of a video.